In this video, I'm going to introduce how to do a factorial, a permutation, and a combination on the TI-84 graphing calculator. I am going to assume that you have some background information on this. You already know what these things are. Um, if not, here is a definition for permutations with the formula that you would use by hand. And here is information about combinations along with the formula and some notation that you might see for that as well. Uh, but the main focus here is just to show you how to do these things on your TI-84 graphing calculator. In this first example here, I'm going to be working out 6 factorial. All right, if we were doing this by hand, we would do the expansion, 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That would give us a total of 720. All right, with a small number like 6, that's not too bad. Um, hard or bad to do longhand, but on the calculator we can do it a lot quicker. There's a couple of different ways um, that we can get to that notation. Probably the easiest um, and quickest way would be to use the shortcut. If we do alpha and then F2, that takes us to our factorial combinations and permutations notation on the graphing calculator. So from there I would select 9, I would get my exclamation point. Okay, I can also um, hit the math button and then arrow over to the probability menu and then there again you see the exclamation point which would be the factorial notation, the combinations and the permutations. Okay so um, to use that it would be as simple as put your 6 in and then alpha F2 and hit 9 to get that exclamation point and once you hit enter then it will automatically give you that 720. All right, you can do any type of arithmetic with this. We could, um, as in the second example here, 16 factorial over 10 factorial. You can do that shortcut to get to your fraction. So alpha y equals, and then uh, pick the uh, 1 for your fraction, and put your 16 on the top. Again, alpha f2 for that exclamation point, hitting the 9 there, and then arrowing down and putting in our 10, and then alpha f2 two there to get my factorial again. All right, so any type of arithmetic like that and hit enter and it's automatically going to give you that answer right there. Um, and here it's showing if you were working this out by hand, you would expand your 16 all the way down to 10 factorial. With that 10 factorial in the denominator, we could cross both of those out, which this number then comes from multiplying 16 times 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 times 11. These two examples over here, just showing you how to put this in. If I was trying to calculate the number of combinations, when I had eight objects and I was selecting two at a time. Okay, so we're going to come over here to the calculator and we're going to do alpha F2. And we want combinations, so we're going to pick eight. And that sets you up with that nice little template there where we can put an eight in there and arrow over and put in our two. And when you hit enter, you get the answer of 28. All right, this being the formula from right here, n being the number of objects we're choosing, and then r being, uh, n being the total number of that we're choosing from, r being how many we're choosing right there. All right, doing um, this last example here with permutations, I've got seven objects. I am taking three at a time, and I want to know how many permutations I have. So again, Alpha F2 will get me my menu. I want permutations, which is going to be 7. And then I need a total of 7 objects. So we put in 7, arrow over, and I'm selecting 3 of those. And hitting Enter then will give me the 210. So just a real quick um, few examples here to show you where that factorial button is, where the permutation is, and where the combination is, and how you would use those on your TI-84 graphing calculator. Definitely thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.